this week in science, students will be able to solve a problem by mimicking external parts of plants or animals in order to help Jack safely climb the beanstalk. Mimic is to imitate or act like something else. A leaf bug mimics a leaf. The leaves on a Venus flytrap mimic flowers. A mockingbird can mimic or sound like other birds. And a stick bug, well, you can guess what they mimic. External features, external features, help animals, help animals. Their body parts outside with special jobs that help them survive. Help them survive. Butterflies, butterflies have pretty wings, have pretty wings to fly to plants where they lay eggs. Wings help them survive, help them survive. Wild rabbits, wild rabbits have strong legs, have strong legs to kick enemies and hop away. Legs help them survive, help them survive. What external parts do you see on a horse? Some external parts on horses are ears, eyes, noses, and hooves. What external parts do you see on koi fish? External parts of koi fish are a tail, fin, eyes, and mouth. What external parts can you find on this emu? Did you see the neck, beak, eye, and wing? What external features do you see in this next video? E is for elephant, the world's biggest land animal. A full-grown elephant can weigh as much as a school bus and stand taller than a house. Some elephants have two long teeth called tusks. They use them to dig, wrestle, and tear bark off trees. Instead of noses, elephants have trunks. They use their trunks to breathe, smell, pick things up, and scoop up water. They can use their trunks as a water hose, too. Adult elephants drink enough water every day to fill a bathtub. Elephants eat only plants, but they eat a lot. In fact, when they're not sleeping, they're usually eating. Elephants eat a lot and they are enormous. E. Elephant. What external features do you see in this next video? F is for fox, one of nature's cleverest animals. Foxes often live near people, but you may never see one. Foxes seem shy, but they are trying to stay away from harm. Foxes are small, but their thick fur makes their bodies look bigger. Foxes have pointy ears, long snouts, and fluffy tails. Male foxes are called dogs, and females are called vixens. Baby foxes are called pups. 
A fox's thick, furry tail helps it keep its balance when it runs. Foxes have thick fur and fluffy tails. F, fox. You can use clay to make a model of an animal and label external features. Check out this cool model of an elephant with external features. I can see the lion's back, head, and legs. Okay, so Jacob, what animal did you choose to make? Um, a bear. A bear. And tell me what parts of the bear do you have already? Long, leg, paw, mouth, ear, and ear. Excellent. So what did you think about making the model? Was it hard to make? Mm -hmm. Why do scientists make models? So people know what to do. What do you mean? So people know what to do um, when they have to do stuff and they and sometimes people don't know what to do because people don't make models. Okay. So, can we have real bears in the classroom? No. So, how can the model help someone? It helps them. It helps them make it so um so they can make it. You know, they, if they can make it, they can make it for other people. Sometimes. Okay. And does it help them learn about bears? Yes. What will your model teach people about bears? Um. Uh, teach them about external parts. Plants have external features or parts on the outside, too. What external parts do you see on this ivy? I saw a branch, stick, and leaves. What external parts do these plants have? I saw bark, a vine, leaves, and branches. What external parts does this plant have? Did you see the same ones I saw? What external parts do these plants have? The tree and the small seedling both have roots. Now that we know more about external parts of plants and animals, let's read the story. Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, my mother and I were very poor. We lived on a farm. The only animal we owned was a cow. We had no food for dinner. Mom told me to take the cow to the market and sell it, but on the way, I met a man. He said he would buy the cow for magic beans. Magic beans, I said. Great! Mom did not think the magic beans were great. She said the man tricked us. Mom cried. She dropped the beans on the ground. Her tears watered the beans. I went to bed with no dinner. I felt really sad. I was tricked. But in the morning, the beans had grown and grown and grown. The bean stalks stretched high above the clouds. I climbed the bean stalk. I found a giant's castle. The giant was really mean. He kept saying, be fi fo fum He wanted to eat me. I climbed three times. I got away three times. Each time, I took something from the giant's castle. I took a golden harp. I took a bag of gold coins. I took a goose that laid golden eggs. The giant followed me down the beanstalk. As he climbed, I chopped it down. The giant fell to the ground. He magically disappeared. Mom was so happy. We were no longer poor. I was safe. Now we have a huge farm. 
We help all of our neighbors. I want to climb back up to the castle because there was so much gold. Now the giant is gone. Mom is worried I might fall. I want to make climbing gear. Then I will be safe. The end. Can we mimic external parts of plants to help Jack make safety equipment? Engineers have looked at plants and animals to design too. Engineers designed an underwater robot to move like a manta ray. Engineers design planes to glide like birds. Engineers designed helicopters after learning from dragonflies. Engineers design Velcro just like you have on your shoes after learning from cockleburrs. Engineers follow the engineering design process. First, they ask a question. Can we mimic external parts of plants in order to help design safety equipment? Then engineers imagine. Watch this video of tree climbers and imagine what you could use to help them. While imagining, engineers also look closely at nature. Let's check in with some friends as they examine seeds. Seeds are an external part of plants. Yeah? I think that a seed popped out of here because there's a little hole. Oh, really? Yeah. Are there like parts that would fit in that? No, no, maybe. Is it not? Look, I think that? Lucas has it. Lucas, do you have the acorn? Does it fit? I wonder why it has like the little hat. Oh, that's so protective from when somebody steps on it. it will no, it actually still gets broken if you step on it. Ah. Yeah, I wonder what that's for. Next, engineers plan. Let's check in with some friends and see their plan. Tell me about the safety equipment you're designing today. I am putting every single um thing in one but except these three because that one's going to be the special one with every single one and those three are going to be the ones with different separate ones. So what do you mean? What safety equipment are you choosing to design? A rope? Yeah. I'm doing three ropes. I mean four ropes. Oh, okay. And are you going to make your ropes? What are you going to make them out of? What are you going to mimic? To make you can a make one out of grass. That would make sense, because that's an external part of a plant. Is grass long enough to make a rope? No, he can make, he can um, connect them. He oh. can just tie them. Oh, he could tie pieces of grass together. And how would you do that? He could just um, get um, find big pieces of grass and tie them to other big pieces of grass. Huh. And um, find wide ones and sturdy ones. If he squishes them, that if um, one of them aren't that sturdy, then he won't, won't use that one. Okay, sounds to me like you have a lot of writing so that people would know what kind of grass to use. Can you make sure you use a lot of words to describe your grass so we know what kind of grass you want? Yeah. So it has to be really long grass? Yeah, and really sturdy. long and sturdy. Awesome, thank you. Tell me a little bit, Samal, about your idea today. What type of safety equipment are you going to design? Uh, a rope. You're going to do a rope. Okay, and so what external feature of a plant are you mimicking? A vine. A vine. Why did you choose a vine? Because it's long and it's uh, strong. Yeah, so because what do you know about vines? Uh, like, they grow a lot. Um, and they keep on getting bigger and bigger, and each 
day, it will taste you getting bigger. Yeah, so that would make sense, right? Because ropes do need to be kind of long for him to climb the tray. Yes. Okay, nice thinking. Thanks. The mall mimicked a vine to design a rope. Tell me the safety equipment that you are designing. Um, a helmet. A helmet. Okay, and what did you think would be a smart plant part to mimic? A coconut. A coconut. Why a coconut? Because they're really hard and they're really hard to break. Yeah, and we were thinking maybe a seed coat we could mimic, but seed coats, we were saying, were kind of small, right? So coconuts are a little bigger, they'll fit on somebody's head. Isn't that what you were thinking? Yeah, and this is, and this is what we would do. You cut the bottom out, and you would cut something so you can breathe, and a little nose turn to mine. Wow, so that helmet will actually go in its whole head. It's almost more like a mask. Huh, interesting idea. Thanks, Alex. What external feature of a plant did you choose to mimic today? I didn't get on my writing, but I did get onto my drawing. Um, the What's your idea? Yeah. Really use um, a stem because it's stronger. And then for my face, my safety, I would use a monkey ball for the boots, just in case like my material that I decided to use did not work. Mm -hmm. And then I decided to use a vine in case this wasn't really a sturdy stem. So what piece vine. of equipment are you designing, or are you choosing to design all the different pieces of the equipment? I am trying to design a rope, um, something that he could, the person could like wrap around the very top of the um, tree and then like put it on their belt. So which are you thinking is a better choice for a rope, a stem of a plant or a vine? I would think that it would be a stem of a plant instead of a vine, but my vine is a safety kit instead, like, in case um, the rope, the vine just, oh. the um, stem decides to let go and it couldn't hold any longer, I have the vine just to hang Oh, like up. a backup plan. I really like that. I look forward to reading more about that. Here are some more plans. Mimicking external parts of plants to design safety equipment. Lucas and Lloyd mimicked a seed coat to make a protective helmet for Jack. Engineering sure is fun. I can't wait to see what you come up with this week. This week in science, we solved a problem for Jack by mimicking external parts of plants or animals in order to help design safety equipment. Nice work.